Not many people comment on my clothes. Not many people care these days. The world is the worse for it. So what should I wear to the Blue Palace? You're really going to the Blue Palace? That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Sounds easy enough. I'll do it. So few people possess the taste and sophistication of a proper wardrobe. If I needed something from you, you would know it. What's your problem? Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I'll see what I can do. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. Vampires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. <laughs> Hello. Hey, you wanna play a game? Sure. What game do you want to play? Really? All right! You pick. Tag or hide and seek? How about hide and seek? I know all the good spots. You don't stand a chance. You stand right there and count to ten. No peeking. Ready? Okay, go! exercises today. Yes, Lady Aetia. My voice is strong as a dragonborn's. Yes, well... How did you do that? Sure, tag sounds fun. Five, four, three, two, one, go! You can't catch me! You can't catch me! What are you doing? thing I hate worse than those scaled backs are them filthy grayskins. Hope this war lasts long enough that I get to fight in it. Battle! Glory! have all those annoying gods on your side to have made it this far, whoever you are. Even I have to admit that's pretty impressive. Mori says goodbye. Forever. Moiri? Moiri? <laughs> so what? You're the cow's champion? <laughs> now that is rich. 
Well then, champion! Let's get this over with! You're a fool to fight me! Tell me, sister, are the stories true? What? What treachery! Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! Oh yes, goodbye, goodbye! Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. A wedding? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh yes, you've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Who's the target? Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. I thank you all again for making this the best wedding a woman could ask for. Having a good time? So far. I just hope things remain calm. And when the elves marched into your beloved Cyrodiil, and everyone took up arms against them, wasn't that treason? We won't stand for this slight, I assure you. This may be a joyous celebration, but it's shadowed by a lot of animosity. By invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them to preserve our own way of life. Dum dum dee dee ding dee 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 dum. Dee 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 dum 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 dum. I'm so glad Victoria and Asgir chose a public reception. That way, the entire city can share in their holy bond. Presiding over the union of two lovers is one of my greatest responsibilities. What have you got for sale? Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> Well, aren't you a pretty thing? Should my new bride be worried? <laughs> Congratulations, quite the day, hmm? The best. Vittoria's a good woman. Any man should be so lucky. Vittoria may be pretty, but does she have the right hips for the job? I know my father is not happy about me marrying an Imperial, but that is his problem. I'm not having a good time. My boy just married a... An imperial. These days, it seems there is dread everywhere, whether it be war or dragon. But I beg you, here, today, put such fears aside. Make sure to get yourself something to drink. Please, eat, drink, and make merry on this most happy of days. I. Having a good time? Good friends and neighbors. Not really. It's just a bunch of elders standing around looking important. I wish something exciting would happen. Bye. no Imperials. Our only people come to celebrate a union of two to make this a truly extraordinary... Victoria! No! No more! I yield! I yield! That's, That's the last Lord fights. My son is dead. At his own wedding. Only those imperial dogs would have dared do something like this. Damn them all to oblivion! What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm... I'm just so overwhelmed. 
such kindness for me. A fight! You think you can take me? Another day, another victory. All right, you've had enough. It was the Empire killed her. I know it. They killed her so they can blame it on the Stormcloaks. Try to relax, Vizara. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ah! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. Gabriella mentioned something about Cicero. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, that's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. What do you want me to do? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. What in the name of Sithis? Gotcha! <laughs> oh, Lister, you should see the look on your face! <laughs> Too much. The Emperor's never been safe. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. The plot. End of threat. What's this now? Uh, order of His Eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. I'm going to pretend By Azra. The Gourmet! I am the Gourmet. The Gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the Gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it's it. It's just. Silence. I'm ready to prepare the grand feast. Oh, actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. We'll begin as soon as you're wearing the hat. Check the shelf over there.
wouldn't want the Emperor mistaking you for someone else now, would we? Oh, just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Enough. The Gourmet is here to cook, not talk. Let us begin. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? We're done. Let us serve. Excellent. They should be ready for us now. A and if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> this opportunity for a long time. Maybe when this is all over, you could sign one of your cookbooks for me? I'm so nervous. Fresh fish, straight from the fjords. That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. Kill her and make sure there's nothing left to bury. What was that? Out with it. Never mind. This is what you want. All right then. This is what I trained for.